Asalaamu As Alaikum, Shazia Nu, Sarah Mahmood here today from New Fitness and the video that we're making today, the tip is about brain power and we're going to talk a little bit about mind over matter during Ramadan. Now Sarah, we were discussing, well, we, we, by the way, we're at Rosemary Topping today, it's an absolutely beautiful day, uh, it's really warm, so we sat in the shade because it, 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 it is beautiful, it's really hot. Um, and while, while we were walking, we were talking about um, how sort of sometimes when, when you're fasting or before Ramadan, you set yourself up for failure before you've even started because, um, you know, we, we sort of put obstacles in, front, in, in our way, for example, um, oh, it's going to be a really long day, 18, 19 hours, um, no food, no drink, it's going to be so hot, we can't do it, especially when you're a um, and you've got young children or you're a student and you're studying for exams and um, or if you're working you know it's a long day and sometimes mentally we sort of put these obstacles there and we've set ourselves up for failure before we've even started now what we want to talk about today here um, is about positive thinking and how you can sort of change that around and you know sort of um, you know mind over matter ma mind over matter brain trading we were thinking how um, Shaz, we were reflecting about previous Ramadans and how sometimes you know we have struggled and um, with a lot of things in life but especially focusing on Ramadan it is mind over matter so yes the days might be long mm. but what you'll find is you'll in the struggle you'll achieve so much more yeah um, and it's a case of don't look at how big the task is yeah look how at hard it is how, how hard long is. the day is look at the greater objective isn't it one is the, the immense reward from allah that you're going to get and let's you know at the end of that long fast we, we've got so much food accessible to us and you know there's people out there who don't even have that so obviously we, we're blessed to have that aren't we and then it's also the other part of it it's, it's, it's self-control as well isn't it yeah you, you gain a lot more you you know it's a case of giving yourself you know don't look at the, just the, the big picture. Give yourself little goals and break it down. Uh, make it easier for you mm. um, to achieve. Yeah, and I think it, I think it's like uh, uh, even me and Sarah have just been discussing when I was at college and I was a student, and I used to do this every single um, Ramadan. I used to set, set myself up for failure. I can't do this. I've got studying. I, I just can't. And then when I became a mum, it was um, I've got young children. This is really hard. And and then when when it came down to it, um, one of my friends turned around and said to me, she said, it, it just, it's as hard as you want to make it. If you're going to tell yourself that it's really difficult, I can't do this. I can't do this. In in not just in Ramadan, it's in everything. If you're going to tell yourself that you can't do it you, you you won't do it or you'll do it but you'll really struggle but if you tell yourself no I can do this and I will do this and I'm going to be really positive about this um, and what you'll find is you'll get up and you'll just do it you, you gain a lot more you you know it's a case of giving yourself you know don't look at the just the, the big picture give yourself little goals and break it down and uh, make it easier for you mm. um, to achieve yeah, and I think it, I think it's like uh, uh, even me and Sarah have just been discussing when I was at college and I was a student, and I used to do this every single um, Ramadan. I used to set, set myself up for failure. I can't do this. I've got studying. I, I just can't. And then when I became a mum, it was um, I've got young children. This is really hard. And and then when when it came down to it, um, one of my friends turned around and said to me, she said, it, it just, it's as hard as you want to make it. If you're going to tell yourself that it's really difficult, I can't do this. I can't do this. In in not just in Ramadan, it's in everything. If you're going to tell yourself that you can't do it you, you, you won't do it or you'll do it but you'll really struggle but if you tell yourself no I can do this and I will do this and I'm going to be really positive about this um, and what you'll find is you'll get up and you'll just do it and not only do you do it yourself you, you sort of rub, on, rub off on other people as well don't you yeah you use a lot when you're positive about yourself it comes across yeah and it affects your environment your thinking your family yeah um, and you know when you wake up in the morning what's the first thing do you think you think oh there's another day or mm. do you see Try and always see the positive in things yeah. and you'll realise it'll make things a lot more easier in yeah. life. And I think it's, it's especially when as a mum, it, it, it's how you're going to um, present yourself. Your children seem, seem to follow, don't they? Yeah. So, it, it, you know, it, it, we want to set a really good example. We want the children to be excited about Ramadan. And yes, it's a long day. But if, but if, they, if, if they're going to, if you're getting up in the morning and your mum's saying, oh my God, I'm really struggling and this is really difficult. And the child's going to subconsciously take that in. Whereas if you're getting up in the morning and saying, right, okay, it's Ramadan. So what we're going to do today, we'll, 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 we'll do this for a couple of hours or we'll, we'll go there and let's prepare something. And, and the day goes a lot quicker. Yeah, yeah it's it just, does. you know 
little steps. So we hope that helped you. Um, I think what we're really trying to say here is um, it, it's about training your mind. And if you train your mind, it, it's, it, it's, it's a very powerful tool. Even in coaching, when we coach my clients and um, when we coach our, um, um, you know, anyone really, one of the biggest um, tools that I would say I, we use here at Nude Fitness is um, the, the power of the mind. And if you can change somebody's thinking, you can get somebody, for example, who's, um, who's, who's really ill um, and, you know, who's in a quite a bad state, who, who can start thinking positively and they can take themselves out of that state. This is how powerful, um, you know, um, positive thinking is. Um, so we're hoping um, with this video to help sort of, you know, bring that uh, across to yourself. So we hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you want to see further videos, you can Google us on www.nurefitness.co.uk. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Uh, Jazakallah for listening. Walaikum salam.